guess who's going to the Tonys? Woo! Hey friends, welcome back to my channel, NBC Lifestyles Diary. My name is Marie, I live in New York, I love fashion, travel, and cultural events, and I'm asking you to join me on the adventure. So last year, I got to go with my daughter to the Tonys because she was nominated for her play, Skin of Our Teeth. Thought it was, you know, once in a lifetime thing. But my cousin Josie got tickets. So guess who's going to the Tonys, baby? Woo! I'm uptown in the Washington Heights area of Manhattan. I was dropped off a block away because all streets around the venue were closed. And mostly everybody had to walk up to the United Palace. This was really quite a beautiful view. And next to the United Palace, where the 76 Tony Awards were being held, you see the tent set up for the celebration afterwards. The United Palace was perched up on a hill, and it was really quite beautiful walking towards the structure. Um, as I walked, I saw everybody glitz and glamorous, men in tuxedos, women in gowns, full of excitement and anticipation. Who's gonna get a Tony tonight? The neighborhood was playing festive music all on its own. And as I walked up to security, I didn't even realize it was security. It looked like a casting call for buffed men. Um, I walked in and complimented the gentleman and was greeted with laughter and a smile. It was very, it was very well organized. Then I got to stand outside with other people and look at people pose with a Tony statue, um, look at the fashion show that was present. And June 11th was also the Puerto Rican Day Parade and people in the neighborhood were representing. There was wonderful salsa music playing. United Palace was part of the Lowe's Theaters. It was um, called the Wonder Theaters and built in 1930. The United Palace was one of the region's premier vaudeville and movie houses, designated, designed by noted architect Thomas Lamb, who did the Court Theater and the Ziegfeld Theater, with interiors by decorative specialist Harold Rambush, who did the Waldorf Astoria and Radio City Music Hall. It was described by the New York Times as Byzantine, Romanesque, Hindu, Indo, Hindu, Sino, Moorish, Persian, eclectic, Rococo deco, deco, and a kitchen sink masterpiece. With more than 3,000 seats, it is still the fourth largest venue of its kind in Manhattan. Lin-Manuel, who's very active in this community and is from the Heights, so much so that he wrote a play called The Heights. He's also the playwright for Hamilton, was very instrumental in getting the Tonys to be featured here at United Palace.
As we were sitting at the Tonys, we saw a clip of Liliana Blaine Cruz's upcoming play, Flex, at Lincoln Center. That was really nice. The Tonys is an opportunity to get a little scene from the plays that are currently on Broadway. And right now we're looking at the play And Juliet. That, was, that made me want to go see it. Uh, the next thing that comes up, I think, is New York, New York. So all the nominated plays gave a little performance of what you would see on Broadway. The Tonys this year was unscripted because of the writer's strike, which made it interesting because everyone was kind of ad-libbing and there were a lot of uh, funny comments and uh, people really got to speak their mind. It was a wonderful experience and there was cheers for, for people's favorites and uh, loud outbursts for the winners, but um, it was all very festive evening. At the end of the night when winners were announced, then came the celebration, which was held at the outdoor tents right next to the theater. It was a lovely spread, um, felt very elegant. There's music, the drinks were flowing, and you got to mingle with producers and actors and directors and singers and everybody looking oh so elegant. The 76 Tony Award winners were for a musical Kimberly Akimbo. That's the uh, show that La Chance uh, produced. The lead actor in the musical was Jay House and D for Some Like It Hot. The winner of um, lead actress in a musical was Victoria Clark for Kimberly Akimbo. Lead actor in a play was Sean Hayes for Goodnight Oscar. And the play that won was Leo Bolstadt by Tom Stopper. Lead actress in a play was Jody Comer. Revival of a musical, the winner was Parade. And revival of a play was Top Dog Underdog by Susan Laurie Parks. Featured actor in a musical was Alex Newell for Chuck. And excellence in theater was Robert Freed and Lisa Dawn Cave. And featured actress in the musical was Bonnie Milligan for Kimberly Akimbo. And featured actor in the play was Brandon Yoranowitz for Leo Polstadt. And the original score was for Kimberly Akimbo by Janine Tesori and David Lindsay Abair. Featured actress in the play was Miriam Silverman the sign in Sidney Bernstein's window. Thanks to my daughter Liliana Blaine Cruz, I knew one or two people at this event. For instance, I knew the actress Carrie Young, who was nominated for a Tony for her role in Cost of Living in the, by the playwright Martina Majoff. Um, I got to meet the Chance, who won for Kimberly Akimbo. I also got to meet Tamara Tooney, who is, who is an actress that I've admired since her days on As the World Turns. I got to pose with Susan Murray Parks, who won for Top Dog Underdog. And I got to pose with Martina, who did Cost of Living. Other celebrities that I bumped into was uh, Samuel Jackson, Lupita Neon. While waiting online for the bathroom, I got to meet the actress Stephen McKinley Henderson, who was nom nominated for the play between Riverside and Crazy. It's the end of the night, end of the Tonys. It was great. It was held in Washington Heights at United Palace. 
and the party was held at an outdoor tent directly next to the theater. It was nice to be in an area that showed a lot of diversity. The folks that were working the venue were very warm and gracious. Um, the last time I went to the Tonys was because my daughter Liliana Blaine Cruz was nominated as for director. So that was something extraordinary. But I got to see a different version of it today and just being a spectator and seeing all the great shows that are out on Broadway and loving the institution. If you enjoyed this content, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, like, and share.